So let's start your week. You might not want to do anything, but whatever. It's up to you. Of course it is. Um, yes, everything's ready. I'm just going to start your reading for lovely counts of people. The first card you have in your past is strength. So I'm seeing someone, um, someone around you. They might not be physically around you, but this is a person I'm seeing. Um, they have a lot of passion inside them. They have not maybe not passion in terms of love maybe maybe it is in terms of love but they have they have passion inside them um but i'm also seeing some anger as well so yes they might have passion in terms of love and this might be toward you but they also have a lot of anger a lot of problems around them as well so i'm seeing these two things this duality of these two things um they were thinking about you i'm seeing at this time definitely but they had a lot of other emotions flowing around them as well and flowing around inside them. They're going through a lot of things, a lot of stress I'm seeing at this time. Um, and this stress I'm seeing was probably separate from whatever was happening between you at this time. But it was affecting their emotions. It was affecting their whole life. It was stopping them from doing whatever they wanted to do, I'm seeing. It was kind of clouding everything for them. I'm seeing a very, very difficult situation around this person. They were thinking about you. I keep on seeing this. They were thinking about you, but they were having to kind of calm their emotions in some way. So it was like they had to um, look calm when they're actually feeling the opposite. Um, I've been feeling like that a lot lately. I've had a lot of big problems I've had to deal with. They've clouded everything that's happened in my life. And I've had to just keep going and I have not been in it at all. It's very, very terrible. And that's what I'm seeing this happening to or was at this time happening to this person in the strength card. So, yes, they, have, they were feeling the opposite of how they had to appear. That's what I'm seeing. And you might not have been around them at this time. They were very, very pre preoccupied with a lot of things that were going on with them at this time. They were around you in your more distant past, definitely. They did care about you. They were thinking about you. But whatever this stressful situation was that was happening around them, I'm seeing it was clouding everything. It was like something that they just had to try to deal with. And it was very, very, very stressful and very difficult for this person. The next card you have your past is the Ace of Swords. So yes, I'm seeing a very... I'm seeing a bit of a confusing situation here. This could be something around your work. This is something that needed to be resolved um, between two people. There could have been, um, yeah, again, I'm seeing this could be in the workplace. Um, I'm seeing something that wasn't actually clear to you for a while. And I'm seeing that it wasn't clear. It was very unclear to you for a long time. You were very frustrated by whatever was going on in your workplace, but you weren't actually sure what you should do about it. And then after a while, finally, you had some clarity come to you about this. You saw what was going on in the situation. Um, I'm actually seeing someone around. Someone in your workplace could have been hiding something, maybe from you. I'm seeing two people involved with this and you as well. Um, and then I'm seeing that you could have realised what this was after a time. So there could have been, um, I'm seeing there probably could have been a male and a female involved in this. Um, if you look at these two... Um, these two shrubs or plants, one's a palm leaf, one is an olive branch. So one's male, one's female. So I'm seeing there probably are um, a male and a female involved in this. They're probably above you in the workplace in some way. I'm just looking at this crown as well. So there was some sort of strange going on. There was some deception going on as well. And I'm seeing that the head of this deception was probably female. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but yes, you realised what this was. You realised what was happening. And then it was all clear to you. That's what I'm seeing. This was in your past. But if you haven't gotten clarity around this yet, you will soon. You will get a lot of clarity around this. Your sword will cut through a lot of this mess that's going on or that was going on. The last card you have your past is the Fool. So yes, again, I'm seeing this is about the situation. I'm seeing that you could have wanted to act on something or react quickly to something. This was a very frustrating situation that was going on in your workplace. And I'm seeing you wanting to come out and do or say something about this very quickly. 
I'm seeing this fall as um, the subconscious mind acting without thinking. And that's what this fall is. He just acts without thinking. And I'll just lift this up a little bit so you can see. Um, you can see this little dog. So, yes, I, because I'm seeing that the fall, this man in this card is like the subconscious. And the dog is the conscious mind. So this dog is jumping up and down and he's saying to this fool, he's barking at this man, he's saying, don't jump over the cliff, don't do this. I'm trying to stop you. I care about you. That's what this dog's saying. So yes, the dog has good intentions for its owner and it looks like the owner's trying to um, step off a cliff and the dog's trying to stop this man from jumping over this cliff. So it was like you were saved before things were revealed in this work situation. So you got this clarity. So you, your conscious mind took over your subconscious mind and said to you, no, don't act on this before you actually have this clear and you know exactly what's going on. And then you listen to it and you said, no, I'm not going to act even though I feel like it. So this is your conscious mind, your little dog helping you and stopping you from going ahead because you might have fallen off a cliff. You might have done some terrible damage to yourself in the workplace if you had have just reacted without thinking like this fool. That's what I'm seeing now. I hope that makes sense. So the first card you have your present is the devil. Yes right. I'm seeing fear. I'm seeing fear in this card. I'm seeing you wanting to do something, wanting to move forward with something, wanting to achieve something. And this thing actually means a lot to you. It means a lot. But you're afraid. You have this fear. Now, to me, the devil is literally fear. That's what the devil is to me. Fear puts that voice in your head, says you can't do this. You're not good enough. You can't do this. What are you doing? Who do you think you are? You're not good enough. You'll fail. You can't do that. You can't do this. You'll fail. This is no good. La, la, la. That's the devil in your head telling you not to do something. The devil and the fear stops you from fulfilling your potential. If you could fulfill your potential, you could do so many things. You could do a million things. It's amazing what you can do. There are no limits to what you can do. Only fear limits you. Only the devil limits you. You can break away from this if you choose to. Have a look at these two people next to the devil. They have chains around their neck. Are they tight around their neck? No, they're not. They're very loose. If they wanted to, they could pick them up and take them off their neck and walk off. Why don't they do that? Because they have fear. This is what I'm seeing. Break away from these thoughts, these devil thoughts. Another thing I'm seeing with the devil is, I, this just popped into my mind, um, this saying about the devil, the devil makes hands, no, the devil makes hands, the devil makes work for idle hands, that's the one, the devil makes work for idle hands. So if you're sitting around not taking action on this thing you want to do, and you're sitting around and sitting around, staring into space, these thoughts are going to come into your head, the devil is going to come into your head. The fear is going to come into your head and it's going to say, you can't do this, give up before you start. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that exercise program. Eat this chocolate. Don't go to the gym, sit around on the sofa. Don't do that work you need to do on your business. Just do this other fun thing. Mess around on your phone, play this game, do stupid stuff. You know, you can't, there's no point in doing it anyway. Don't bother with, bet, bet, you know, getting yourself better, making yourself better. Don't bother with any of that. That's what the devil is trying to tell you. The more you work, the stronger you will be. Start working on this thing you want to work on. Start working on this thing. That's what I'm seeing. The more you're working, the less you're thinking. The more you're sitting doing nothing, the more your thoughts are spiraling out of control and then stopping you from doing things. So yes, if this resonates, take one small action toward this thing you want to do, this thing you want to achieve. The more action you take, the stronger you will be and the less you'll be worrying about this devil, the less you'll be worrying about not this devil, the less you'll be worrying about not being able to do things. So yes, I know this probably sounds a bit cringy. I am very cringy in my readings. Oh well, there we are. This is true, even if it is cringy. Take one small action 
Make a start. If you do that, this will weaken the chains between you and the devil. Keep going and you'll break these chains and the devil will be far away from you. The stronger you are, the more you work, the more you do, the weaker the devil becomes and the more those thoughts run away from your head. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense. The next card you have here present is the Eight of Pentacles. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this man working. Here we are. This man is focused on his work. He's so focused on his work that he doesn't care about anything else. He doesn't care what's going on. There's a city. I'll move that down. There's a city in the background. There's a town in the background. There's whatever going on. He doesn't care. He doesn't even care. He's so focused on his work. He doesn't even care if he needs a haircut. Look at him. He probably doesn't need a haircut. I think he does. He doesn't care if he needs a haircut. Don't think too much. Don't think. Don't question. Can I do this? Am I good enough? You are. You're good enough. Don't even think about it. Do it. Act on this thing that the devil's trying to talk you out of doing. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is that of this person in the strength card. This person's definitely still dealing with a lot of stress, but again, they're definitely still thinking about you. They're thinking about you. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm seeing a number eight again. And what I'm seeing with the number eight again is the infinity symbol. They're thinking about you. They're having a, a trail of thoughts about you. It's like a movie running through their mind on a loop on a loop on the figure eight, on the infinity symbol, looping around, looping around and around, back and forward again, like a movie in their head. They could be replaying something that happened between you in their mind. It could be good, could be bad, I don't know, but that it's some sort of memory that's going around and around in their mind, and it's to do with you, that's what I'm seeing. The last card you have here present is the Ten of Pentacles. So yes, I'm seeing you wanting to protect yourself in this card. Um, it could be you and another person you want to protect because I'm seeing two people. And I'm seeing, I'm just looking at this bridge coming across and sheltering these two people in the middle of this card. So people go under a bridge to, to shelter themselves from rain or whatever else, snow. And um, you could be trying to save money at this time in order to protect yourself, or you could be saving um, for your future, taking out insurance, something like that, something about money around protection, protecting you and maybe another person as well, because I am seeing these two people. Um, I'm seeing that whatever this is, um, I am seeing some filling out forms, making phone calls, the usual kind of stress that comes with this paperwork and talking to these people behind desks. <laughs> and um, maybe it doesn't stress you out. It really stresses me out. I hate that kind of thing, but it has to be done. So it's not serious, serious stress. It's not terrible stress. It's just the normal kind of stress that goes with these kind of bureaucracy filling out forms, trying to talk to people and being put on hold and all of that kind of stuff that goes with that. So yes, you will get protection. I'm seeing a positive outcome coming from this uh, card, from this Ten of Pentacles. It is generally a positive card. The first card you have for your future is the Queen of Pentacles. So more pentacles. So yes, money, also protection. There is some money I'm seeing probably coming to you. I'm seeing you're protecting someone else as well because um, I'm just looking at the way this um, beautiful queen's nurturing this coin. It's like she has a baby on her knee or a small child on her knee, so she's protecting, using money to protect, which is what I've seen in the Ten of Pentacles. So money's going to come to you. I'm seeing uh, probably coming to you in your future. It's not going to come to you in a straightforward way. That's what I'm seeing. Um, not in the way that you might imagine. It's coming to you, but you might imagine it coming in a certain way and it might come in a different way. It might come in a way you'd never imagine. You've never imagined. Um, I see this happening a lot to cancer, that things come to you in a kind of a roundabout way or a way that you don't expect them to come. They don't just come straight forward to you. They come in a kind of another way. And when you think about it, a crab walks sideways. So the cra a crab doesn't come to you head on, it comes sideways. So things come to you sideways sometimes or around another way or behind you or something like that. So this happens to you a lot of the time. So don't be alarmed. If, it's, if something comes to you, if you're expecting it to come from one direction and you think, oh, it's not coming, I'm not getting this money or this thing or whatever it is, it's coming from another way. You're just not seeing it because you're a crab and you're, you're looking sideways. I'm really joking. 
The next card you have in future is the Six of Wands. So yes, again, I'm still seeing this person thinking about you. I'm seeing that they're still having a lot going on in their lives they're having to deal with. I'm also seeing a kind of, this is kind of like a warning to you as well. I'm not sure if this is about you or this person, but I'm seeing that things might, there might be some, it might be okay, but it might not be. Just this, just think about this. So I'm seeing there might be an imbalance. It might not be an imbalance, but I'm just seeing some, one person's looking up to another person and admiring admiring them, looking up to them and saying, oh, aren't you so amazing? And they're down there and the other person's up high. So this could be you or the other person. Now, it might be an imbalance in your relationship, but it might not be. It might just be that someone thinks someone's wonderful. And that's fine if both people are happy with that, if there's not an imbalance. So this might be a fantastic thing for you. It might be this, this person's looking up to you and thinking, aren't you fantastic? It might be because they're thinking about you in this Eight of Pentacles. Um, or it might be an imbalance. So just think about, just examine this and think about whether this is the case. If there is an imbalance, just try and think about whether that's true or not. Try and address that if you can. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have in future is the King of Swords. So this can be about um, using your head over your heart or using your head over your emotions. I'm seeing this is probably again about this thing you want to do, breaking free from this devil. I'm seeing again, cut away from this devil. Use your head, use your, um, what's the word, objective thoughts to cut through these emotional thoughts or these things in your head telling you you can't do things. Use your brain, move forward with this project that you want to do, cut the devil out and just move forward from this. Don't let this stop you. Cut this devil out with this sword, this devil who's telling you rubbish, this devil who's telling you you can't do things. Use logic out with this devil. There's a fantastic book called, it's, it's an audio book as well, you can get it on YouTube somewhere, Out with the Devil um, by Earl Nightingale. That's a really good book. So yes, Out with the Devil. You can do it. The devil thrives on fear. The devil thrives on fear. The more you work, the more you do in this project, I know I'm repeating myself, the less you will fear. That's what I'm seeing. So get to work, get to work. So Cancer, I hope this resonated. General readings can't always resonate with everyone, as you know. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to. And thank you so, so, so much for watching.